The gluteus medius muscle originates at the gluteal surface of the ilium between the posterior and anterior gluteal lines. It inserts at the lateral aspect of the greater trochanter. The nerve innervation of the gluteus medius muscle is the superior gluteal nerve. Actions of the gluteus medius muscle. All fibers are responsible for hip abduction. The anterior fibers are responsible for flexing and immediately rotating the hip. The posterior fibers are responsible for extension and lateral rotation of the hip. Because the gluteus medius muscle is a powerful hip abductor, it is also responsible for keeping the pelvis level during ambulation. When the gluteus medius muscle is weakened, patients will present with a positive Trendelenburg sign. This means when the patient stands on one leg, the pelvis will drop excessively on the side contralateral to the weakened gluteus medius muscle. These patients may also present with a gluteus medius gait, meaning they will laterally flex their trunk over the affected side or the weakened muscle in an attempt to pull their center of gravity over the hip and reduce muscle force required for stabilization of the trunk and pelvis. Therefore, it should reduce pelvic drop. A manual muscle test can be performed to evaluate function and strength of a muscle, or perhaps test for weakness of the gluteus medius muscle. Manual muscle testing grades muscles based upon their ability to move in relation to gravity and resistance. Today, we will be focusing on exercises used to strengthen muscles that present with both two out of five strength, meaning the patient cannot move the muscle against gravity, and three out of five strength, meaning the patient can complete the muscle's normal range of motion against gravity, but with no resistance. Supine hip abduction is a good exercise for patients with two out of five strength, as gravity will be eliminated in this position. Patients will lie supine with one or both legs straight, the patient will slide or kick one leg outward into abduction, being sure not to rotate the leg or hip hike for compensation. If a patient has three out of five strength, they can also perform hip abduction in a sideline position. Patients will lay on their side with their head supported with both legs stacked on top of each other. The patient will then raise the superior leg as high as possible without allowing their pelvis to rotate backwards. Skater squats are another exercise that could be performed by a patient with 3 out of 5 strength. It is a little bit more difficult. Patients will start with their feet hip width apart and transition the weight from their dominant leg while lifting the opposite leg slightly off the floor. They will then slowly descend by pushing their hips and their butt backward while crossing the opposite leg behind the dominant leg. They will then push through the heel of their stationary leg to return to starting position. Sidestepping is also a good way to strengthen the gluteus medius muscle with 3 out of 5 strength. When patients are ready for a greater challenge, a resistance band can be used. The positioning of the band determines the level of resistance. The least amount of resistance is when the band is looped above the knees and this is a good place to start. Medium resistance is where the band is positioned below the knees and the highest amount of resistance is when the band is positioned around the ankles.